there, Pisces. Welcome to your energy reading. And I'd like to say welcome to those who are new to this channel. And welcome back, those who are regular viewers. Okay, so Pisces, this is a general reading. And this is for the second half of March. I hope you're doing well so far in the month of March. So we're going to pick three oracle cards. And they will set the energies for the entire reading. New location. So new location could be a moving house, moving country, changing job. Uh, you may be also uh, maybe even moving your desk, you know, your area of work. <clears throat> Something um, which has been dominant in your life, in the position, <laughs> right? And you're changing a location. Rise above problems. Okay, nice. And then we have dreams coming true. Ah, very nice. Very nice. So we, I also have this uh, box of angel cards and we will pick three words after the entire reading. Okay, so hang on till then. So we're going to see what's up for Pisces in the second half of March. And um, yeah, so Pisces, this... Just wanted to remind you, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and drop the rest. And Pisces, if you want to grow spiritually, know that I have another channel called Musings from the Past, Present and Future. And I do live classes. There is a new channel. And I talk about consciousness work, shadow work, spiritual growth, and all of that. And the last live class I did was on ancestral healing. I will be doing one coming soon so do watch out for that um, would appreciate you subscribing to the channel and you know join me participate in the classes okay okay so let's see we have the first card queen of swords working with honesty logic but let's see what the other cards bring up then we can piece the story together so it doesn't look like I have any pop out. So I'm going to cut the deck and then go on from there. Okay. So first card, Queen of Swords. We have six of wands. Four of wands. Oh, celebration, marriage. Three of swords. Hmm, that's quite a dramatic change. <laughs> from four of swords to three of four of wands to three of swords. That, that's like happiness. And then this immediately goes to like sorrow, grief. But we'll see what the story is. Nine of Cups, hold your heart. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. And Six of Cups. Mm. Okay. So, I like to look at... The middle card first. This is Knight of Cups, right? Knight of Cups is about following your heart. Following your heart is not just like following your emotions. It's about following your intuitive self, your intuition, right? So that seems to be a, a strong energy in your reading. So you're encouraged to follow your intuition and, you know, following your heart, you know, in your decision-making process. I feel. And if we look at this row, it's a very interesting dynamics happening, right? Because sorts is about your mental construct, it's about what's going on in your mind, it's very air energy, right? And right in the middle, we have Knight of Cups. We have Three of Swords, which is sorrow. <clears throat> we have um, Eight of Swords, which is looking at your fears and, and dealing with self limitation beliefs. I feel like um, the reason this these may have popped up is that there will be challenges coming your way. You know, when you are, whenever we are asked to follow our heart, right, to tune into our um, our intuition or higher self or our inner guidance, we will always be challenged by these thoughts coming up in our heads, and they will distract us because I mean, they, you know. <clears throat> The, the mind is just doing its job, right? And its job is to distract us so that we do not follow our heart, so that we can 
you know, we will do the bidding of our shadow energies or unconscious energies. And so interestingly, these two come come up, you know, and they, they, they kind of like sandwich fall in your heart. So I would imagine that, you know, if I were to tell you right now, Pisces, that you need to follow your heart, immediately the thoughts would come up in your head um, and you would be second guessing yourself you'd be asking endless questions you know a lot of anxiety would come up a lot of fears and you you probably say but you know how do i know i'm following my heart right so all of these questions will pop up and my guidance to you is that in order to follow your heart you need to listen to your body not your mind very big difference right when you follow your heart, you really need to literally follow your heart. You literally need to listen to the body, to be in touch, in tune with the body rather than what's going on in your mind. The mind, what's going on in the mind are simply distractions, which is very interesting, I find. Okay? Now, we started <laughs> the reading with Queen of Swords, which is honesty and logic, Right? And then we go into this energy of Nine of Cups, which is following your heart. But when we come here, right, Six of Cups is about tender, loving care. So the story here for you is that while you may work with honesty, self-honesty, all right, and logic, tender, loving care towards self is very important. And that would mean you know, whenever we talk about tender, loving care, I think of the inner child. So for you, you know, in this case, it's definitely talking about the, the inner child as well, which means that while, you, you know, while you work with honesty, looking at how you're caring for your own inner child consciousness or the wounded child within is very important, then you'll be able to see out what is really within your heart, your intuition, and what is, you know, what are just uh, stuff distracting you uh, from the mental construct okay and then we have this um energy running this way right? right queen of pentacles is about confidence building that self-confidence and then we have six of wands six of wands is about victory admiration what is it that you um admire within other people within yourself Integrate these traits into yourself and follow your heart. And you will find that the, if you lean into the energies of queen, the queen of uh, pentacles, right, you will open your heart to greater generosity. It's about having a generous heart. It's about having this nurturing, the ability to nurture self. Okay. There is great wisdom coming from queen, right? Queen energies is always, you know, a lot of that. And for the Queen of Pentacles, her ability, her wisdom lies in her ability to know how to nurture self. And so as you nurture your heart, you nurture your talents, you nurture your creativity, the Six of Wands is about, you know, um, truly showing up for yourself, believing, you know, in your abilities and claim victory for that. Okay. It's really nice energy coming through here. Okay. So I want to share also in this direction, right? The four of ones is about celebration. It's also about marriage. So I feel for you, uh, maybe some of you are really, you know, going to get married, right? But for the most part, if we look at the energy of this reading, it's about a marriage between you and yourself, right? Is your It's integration of you know, like two different aspects of yourself, maybe the masculine and feminine, maybe the inner child and inner parent, you know, it's just, you know, integration of self. So this marriage, so following your heart, right? And the wisdom that you gain from following your heart, it's not just following emotions, yeah? Keep that in mind. Because following up your heart is really about also following the wisdom from your own higher self, from your soul, Okay, and then you have two of ones. Two, two of ones is you will get to a crossroad where you do have to make a decision. Like, what do I do now? Um, how do I plan ahead? So the planning ahead is not so much about weighing, you know, pros and cons. 
is more about following your heart. It's a kind of planning, right? It's, it's made within the heart. And it's also allowing you to expand and explore, allowing your creativity to shine. Because you have this, you know, at the base of this reading, these three cards, it's quite significant. Because two of wands is about planning, right? It's about making a decision on how to utilize your creativity, your energies, your heart space. And this is about nurturing that heart space, nurturing that talent, nurturing that emotional side of yourself and rising above problems, right? And then to treat it with tender, loving care. Okay. Really nice energy coming through for you, I feel, Pisces. Um, the struggle that you may, I mean, even though I say it's nice energy, you may not necessarily experience it until you've dealt with the self-limitations, the fears, the greed, the sorrow, um, that may be just blinding you in seeing how connected you really are to your heart and to your own higher self, okay? So can we have some clarifiers for this role? Okay, we use this deck. I'm going to pick that card. Ooh. So this one is Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is about movement. A lot of movement, okay, happening. So moving from negativity to positive, that's hope. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, success, right? So Ten of Pentacles um, really is talking about security, you will get the security that you're after. If you've been asking questions about whether you're going to... Um, I feel like a big part of your decision-making process is about security. And if you're asking questions about security, Ten of Pentacles is showing that you do get the, you do get the security. And, you know, family matters, things, are, things se seem to settle very nicely. And then we have Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is about patience. And know that your hard work will pay off as well. So see, follow your heart. <laughs> the advice, right, from this role, even though you're challenged, but then follow your heart, the Nine of Cups, follow your heart. And the results from this is that there is movement. You will get the stability and to, to be patient, patient with yourself. Whoa, justice, justice would play out. Nice. This card, justice landed on Eight of Swords, okay? And Eight of Swords is about your fears and your self-limitation. So the question you have to ask yourself is that, are you going to allow the fear to determine the future, right? Are you keeping things in balance? Are you just too much in the fear? It's a reminder. It's pointing. Look at the sword pointing directly at this eight of swords. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know for second half of March? I feel like we need more cards. So why are the cards not popping? Okay. <laughs> Four of cups. A little bit stubborn. You're still reluctant to open your heart. Then I would ask you to lean into the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is this energy. And Queen of Pentacles is really about generosity, you know. Oh, you know, interesting that you got this too because a uh, sign of cancer also has to focus on the Queen of Pentacles, which, which is the generous heart, okay? Seven of Wands, right? Seven of Wands is about fighting a good fight, keeping your boundaries um, clear, but you need to choose what are you convicted? What's where's your conviction? Is the is the question? You need to choose. Pick a side. Four sorts. Okay, 
finally letting go. You see, complete trust in his four swords. This girl here is just laying down. She's praying and the three swords coming down at her. No fear because she has a sword lying here. She's lying on top of one of the swords and, you know, in complete surrender somewhat. Okay. So you're encouraged to do that as well. Okay. Let's see. Let's have an inspiring message for Pisces. You want an inspiring message? What else does Pisces need to know? Inspiring message, please. Look inside yourself. Go within, look inside, crawl into this cocoon. And then you emerge. Build the cocoon around you, right? Look inside. Powerful one. Now let's see from Angel Card. So Pisces, I hope that this message resonates. If it resonates, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. You want to see what else? Abundance. You were looking for stability, right? Here it is. There is abundance. All right. So do not believe in your self-limitations <laughs> and your fears that may be stopping you. Believe in the abundance. Set your intentions. Intentions has got to be really clear so that you get what you want. And then we have here... Uh, willingness. This is a good one because remember I got this, we got this uh, four of cups, like not very willing to move forward, but a reminder here, willingness is required. Okay. So Pisces, I wish you well, and I hope um, this reading is helping you in one way or another, and I'll see you again. Bye for now.